The World Yo-Yo Contest is finally back after a three-year absence when the world went on lockdown. And this week, the best yo-yo players from around the globe are meeting in Japan to compete for the title of World Yo-Yo Champion. And in honor of this revival, I've decided to challenge myself to recreate the most legendary tricks from some of my favorite routines over the last two decades. And I'll be rating their difficulty on a scale of one to 10. The World Yo-Yo Contest is the place where the newest, coolest, most difficult tricks are thrown down each year. And in order for players to keep up with these hot new trick trends, they have to be extremely particular about what yo-yo they use. And there's one company whose yo-yos have been used more than any other brand to take first place, Yo-Yo Factory. So in honor of the brand's 20 year anniversary, Yo-Yo Factory and I have launched the Champions Collection, which features a replica of the exact colorway as well as a gold version of each of the six yo-yos that Yo-Yo Factory's made that were used to win the World Yo-Yo Contest in the last 15 years. So it's only right that I use the replica yo-yo from each routine to recreate each trick, starting with 2007 World Champion Yuki Spencer with the Aqua 888. Yuki was known for his super technical and fast flashy tricks, especially this year his skill level was just so much higher than everyone else. And I think the most legendary trick of this freestyle is actually this one right here where he pull starts the yo-yo and then continues into the speed combo. You can hear the crowd going crazy because they had never seen a pull start like this before. The 888 that Yuki was using has these hub sacks on the side which allows you to pull start it letting the yo-yo spin in your fingers as you're holding the side. Then he continued into that fast trick. Let's try it. Wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> what a legend, Yuki taking the dub with the 888. Difficulty, five out of 10. Up next, the following year, we have John Ando takes the gold with the superstar. At this time, it was so common for people to do technical tricks in front of their body, but most of the tricks in John's routine all incorporated his arms and body, and he brought a whole new level of choreography and body control into the world contest that nobody had ever done before. Just look at his movement. It looks so sick, dude. He's yo-yoing with the music, not to it. And I think right here is the most legendary trick. Oh, I mean, how can you not, dude? Did you see that? Yeah! Woo! John Ando slaying the game in 2008 with the Superstar. The difficulty of that first part, it's too good to give any lower. I'm going with a seven out of 10. All right, next up we have Jensen Kimmett using the North Star to become the 2010 world champion. Everything is so polished. He was known for using the music really well. This first trick is so clean. Like. What a way to show the audience and the judges that you are there to win. There's so much rhythm to it. It just looks so good. There's a lot of legendary tricks in this freestyle. This is where it gets absolutely mad. Oh, the jump trick, the jump Eli hop. Nobody had done jump tricks like this before. Just wait until you see the next one. After that, he just flexes on everyone with the behind the back catch. And then, and then he forgets his routine. Look at this, forgets the routine. But just wait, you have no idea what's coming. You have no idea what's coming right here. The dopest trick that's ever been thrown down at the World Yo-Yo Contest by 2010, right here. Dude! What? Bro, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> this is hard. Quick interruption, if you'd like to pick up some of the yo-yos from the Champions Collection, they're now live on my website, gentrystein.com. Each yo-yo is available in its replica world's winning colorway as well as the gold colorways. We're dropping them in limited quantities, so if you want any of them, go pick them up before they're gone. We'll count it. That one was tough. I'm going with 10 out of 10. 
Next up, we have myself, Gentry Stein, with my first ever Worlds win in 2014, where I used a special edition shutter with polished rims. I was 18 years old. I had never left the US before until just a month before this contest, I went to Japan to go train for an entire month. I then flew to Prague in the most epic sequence of events of my life and I took home my first world title. And oh, what do I choose for the most legendary trick of this routine? I feel like this moment right here where the music breaks. Ooh. Okay, to remove any bias, I'm gonna phone a friend. Yo! What is up? <laughs> What's up, bro? What are you up to? Um, I'm practicing right now. Well, right? Dude, I love to hear it. Brandon, I need your help. Okay. So I'm filming this video right now where I'm recreating the most legendary tricks from previous world champion routines. Okay. Yes. From 2007 onwards, what's your favorite world winning routine? Man. Um, hmm. Oh man, dude, there's so many good ones. Honestly, dude, if I'm being like completely honest, I think like 2014 Razor Sharp is probably my favorite. Like, Let's go, dude. <laughs> What a homie. What do you think is the most legendary trick of my 2014 Worlds routine? When you did the speed combo, I would also say the cross arm black hop stuff that comes before it was like, whoa. <laughs> that trick was also pretty sick. Oh, thanks. Cool, bro. Well, I'll let you get back to it. All right, man. I'll see you soon, bro. Yeah, see you at Worlds, man. The trick is chosen. That whole sequence, the difficulty with the music and everything, I'm going with eight out of 10. Next up, we're gonna fast forward four years to 2018 where Evan Nagao used the Beyond to win his first world title. He used the song Freebird for this routine and the difficult tricks matched with the 70s rock theme helped him take this routine to the top. There's a lot of really hard tricks in this routine, but I think if you ask anyone, they're all gonna say the same thing. The most iconic trick of this routine was his Godspeed combo. This wasn't just any Godspeed combo. This was a guitar solo, yo-yo shredding, absolutely epic moment. And there's a funny story to it. Back in early 18, he told me he wanted to show me his world routine. And during this guitar solo part, when he showed me, he was actually planning to just stand normally. But I immediately had a vision, which he explains in his own comment as you scroll down on the YouTube video. He makes note of all the players that inspired him for the routine. And during this moment, he says, quote, when we were in Seattle for the Pacific Northwest Regionals, Gentry Stein was like, when you do that speed combo, you have to do a knee slide like a rock star shredding guitar best competition advice I ever got. And boy did it work out for him. He shredded all right. He shredded all the way to first place. So let's give it a try. All right, we gotta make some space here. Before I'm heading to the world contest, I'm back visiting Chico, my hometown, and shout out to my mom for letting me film this video in her kitchen. I love you, mom. <laughs> That's enough of that. The Beyond really kills it at any of those tricks where you have a lot of movement and need to keep the yo-yo stable. Those super beefy steel rims really help keep that stability there and the spin time. There were a lot more difficult tricks in other parts in the routine. So for this one, difficulty is a four out of 10. Next up, we have the most recent world yo-yo contest where I slipped past Evan this time and won my second world title in 2019 with the shutter wide angle. Back in 2018, I completely redesigned all my tricks to be a lot more difficult, so I wanted a wider version of the shutter. That's where the shutter wide angle came from. And while this was one of my highest scoring routines on paper, I ended up choking on stage and got seventh place. But after that, I knew all I needed was to get things a little more polished and I would secure the win for the following year. And that's exactly what happened. This routine's filled with a lot of hard tricks, but I think the most legendary is my behind the back horizontal combo. It's definitely one of the hardest tricks ever performed on stage, and it for sure helped me take the win, so let's do it. Woo! Ooh. 
That one, 10 out of 10 difficulty. Remember, all the yo-yos ah! yo from the Champion Collection are available now on my website, gentrysign.com. I have to go catch my flight to the World Yo-Yo Contest. I'll see you soon. Yeah.